Hi, this is Topher with OS Training. In this video, we're going to take a look at choosing a multilingual WordPress theme. And to be clear, we're not necessarily looking for a theme that has been translated, but one that can be translated. So let me show you how you can find a good one. First, we're going to look at free themes. We're here at WordPress.org, and right in the top, we're going to click Themes. And the tool we're going to use on this page is called the Feature Filter. And the center column is called Features, and at the very bottom, it says Translation Ready. Now, you're welcome to click as many other boxes as you wish. But for multilingual, the one feature we're really looking for is Translation Ready. So then I'll click Apply Filters. Here we have many, many themes that are translation ready. In fact, it says there were 2,233 of them. I'm going to click on more info here for the type theme. Right here at the bottom is a list of tags, and translation ready is one of them. So we know that this theme claims to be translation ready. Now I'm going to show you a couple of ways to figure out if it's actually translation ready. Now, if you're not a developer, this can look a little scary, but it's really not. We're only going to click to a few pages and look at some text. Over here on the right, there's Browse the Code, and there's Subversion Repository. If we click that, it shows all the different versions of this theme. So we simply click the latest one, and then we always want to look at style.css. Every single theme ever has a style.css. It has to. That's the thing that makes it a theme. And then the one thing we're looking for in this file is always near the top, and it's a text domain. In this case, the text domain is type. And all that really is is a unique keyword for translation for this theme. So we know that this theme has a text domain. Now I want to show you one more trick that you don't necessarily need to do. It's a little bit more code. And if you don't want to get your hands dirty with code, that's fine. You can be done at this point. Finding the text domain was really enough. But I'll show you one more trick. Click on header.php. And we're going to look for some translation functions. Now this page is the function reference for a translation function called underscore E. And if you go to the bottom, it shows you all of the translation functions. So we're looking for any of these. You don't necessarily need to know what they do. You simply need to know that they exist. You simply need to know that they're in the code for your theme. And right here, where it says skip to content, you can see that they used escape HTML underscore E which is right here. It displays translated text that has been escaped for safe use in an attribute. And you'll see that there's another one here and another one here. And you don't necessarily need to know what they're doing. The mere fact that they're in the code tells you that the developer is aware of the concept of internationalization and has prepared this theme for it. So now that we've looked at free themes, I'd like to show you some tips on finding commercial themes that are translation ready. We're still on WordPress.org in the themes directory, but there's a link right here to commercial themes. Now these are all theme shops. And so finding out if it's translation ready is going to be a little less consistent than if it was on .org. But I'm going to show you how to look for some commonalities. Let's go to Array Themes. I'm going to Browse Themes. And here's a theme called Meteor. I'll simply click Explore Meteor. And this page is all about Meteor. If we get all the way to the bottom, you'll see a big block here that says Ready for Translation. WordPress is used all over the world and translated into many languages. Each theme has been optimized for easy translation and comes with .pot language files. 
These are keywords that you want to find on any theme that is translation ready. Especially the bit there about dot pot language files, that they're not simply saying, sure, we're translation ready. They're saying how they're translation ready, what they did, the work they put into it. Not all commercial themes are ready for translation, and that's okay. They may simply not be the one for you if that's what you need. One more tip for both free and commercial themes is to try the theme. If it's a free theme, of course, you can simply download and try it. And if it doesn't work, you get rid of it. No harm done. If it's a commercial theme, look at their terms. Here at the bottom of the Array Theme site is a Terms link. And right here is a refund policy. Now, if you buy into the club, there is no refund. But if you buy a single theme, they ask that you discuss it with them before simply doing a refund. to Give them the option of fixing it for you and making it work. After all, it's their business to serve you. So if you buy a theme and you try it and it isn't quite working for you, this particular shop would like to help you. And then they'll do a refund if it doesn't work out. Not every shop has a refund policy, so check it before you buy. So let's review. For free themes on WordPress.org, Use the Feature Filter for Translation Ready. Then, on a theme page, use the Feature Filter for Translation Ready. Theoretically, that should give you only Translation Ready themes. That's probably all you really need to do. They check them pretty carefully. However, if you really want to be sure, then on a specific theme page, you can click Subversion Repository. Choose the latest version. Then click on Style.css and look for Text Domain. It doesn't matter what the value is, each theme will have a different value. But the mere fact that it exists tells you that it is translation ready. And then if you want to check to make sure that they did a good job, you can optionally click on header.php and look for translation functions. And lastly, download it and try it. It's free. For commercial themes, you want to look for keywords. Look for claims of translation ready or easily translated. Look for keywords like .pot files. That tells you that, that they probably actually know what they're doing. And then check the return policy and perhaps buy and try. If there's a good return policy and it doesn't work out, you can easily return it. The last thing I want to talk about is emphasizing the inherent safety net in both of these options. For the free themes, the translation-ready feature filter is almost always going to be right. So that's a very easy way to narrow your selection. And then it's also free. If the translation ready checkbox was wrong, no real harm done. With commercial themes, communicate with the shop. They want to make this work for you. If it's not working properly, they want to fix it. It's their business. It's what they're doing. So at the end of the day, if you follow these steps, chances are very, very good that you're going to find a translation ready WordPress theme. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to make sure a plugin has been properly internationalized.